What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm in Fiji right now and I went for a morning walk and I thought let's talk about how you can make money online while you travel. So you know there's like a lot of people work 9 to 5 and they don't have the luxury of traveling. Um, they have to get annual leave. They have to wait for their holiday pay to come through and even then they can only do it like once a year. Um, and then they get, and then there's actually a lot of other people that travel and they make money while they travel and people wonder how they do it. Well, I'm going to tell you in this video today how you can actually do this yourself and you're probably doing a lot of these things already but you're just not monetizing them. Okay, so it's 2018 right now guys, new year, new resolution, re resolutions, new goals, all that sort of good stuff. So take the time to sit down today, tomorrow, whenever, sorry I have to keep changing hands, my arms are sore. Um, so take the time to sit down today or tomorrow or whenever you can and start to write out your goals for 2018 and start to make a change if that's what you want to do. So how do you make money while you travel? Now before we jump into this we have to look at the value of money. First of all some people are happy with 100 bucks extra per week, 50 bucks extra per week, uh, they might want a thousand dollars extra per week. The value of money is very different for everybody so you know depending on how much work you put into this that's what's going to determine how much money you actually make okay you're not just going to get rich like this this isn't a get rich quick scheme i don't promote get rich quick schemes i promote business models that actually work so this is how it works guys a lot of people when they travel they they document what they're doing whether it be instagram whether it be facebook whether it be twitters uh, whether it be blogs everything like that. Now when people write a blog they usually document their experience like hey I went to this beautiful um, beach resort we're having a great time I went fishing yesterday all this sort of stuff but they don't monetize their content what does that mean they don't make any money from it but you can so this is what um, I would recommend you do and I've actually done this in the past and I still actually do it now um, not as much as I, as I used to though so what you can do is you can let's say um, you like a lot of people are chilling by the pool and they're reading books and stuff and I think to myself you know reading books and stuff isn't bad like you're on holiday there's nothing wrong with chilling out sorry I'm just gonna get out of the sun here so it doesn't mess up the camera but you can be writing documents you could be writing blogs you could be writing um, all sorts of stuff that makes you money so this is what you do guys uh, for a for a blog it's quite cheap to start um, if you want to start a blog a domain name it's going to cost you around about ten dollars per year for a domain name and that's the name of your blog next guys what you want to do is you want to actually go out there and start start the blog and that's going to cost you maybe um, I think three bucks a year at Bluehost so you're looking at like 30 40 bucks per year very very cheap what you want to do is you want to document your experience so for example um, yesterday so yesterday I went to a place called Mala Mala Island. Now on Mala Mala Island, let me just get out, get me some good, um, get me some good thing here, um, get, get some good sun going here. So and, and we've got the um, guy behind us. So in Mala Mala Island guys, I went to Mala Mala Island and um, you know we went there, it's a party island, so you go there for the day, you party, you drink, you eat good food and things like that, alright? So Mala Mala Island and then you take a boat over. So what I can do is I can go onto my blog and I can be like, hey, went to Mala Mala Island yesterday, had a great time, here's all my photos, you might even want to put a video up, make the content really media rich, okay? So Google loves it. And then you can put things in there like keywords like Mala Mala Island review, um, Mala Mala Island experience, how to get to Mala Mala Island. You put in these keywords, right? And then Google's going to crawl through and start to rank you for things. But how do you make the money? Well, it's simple, guys. You can go to places like TripAdvisor.com. They have an affiliate program that's 50 percent commission which is absolutely massive and you can get commissions on people booking trips booking hotels booking um activities so let's sorry guys I'm just trying to get out of the sun real quick so it doesn't mess up the camera so for example let's say you do a blog post on mala mala island which is a little island out here in the fijian islands and um let's say one person let's say a bunch of people go to your link and then one person clicks on the link and books hotels flights and a trip to Mala Mala Island. Well Mala Mala Island itself guys is $100 per person to get there. So let's say it's a family and 400 bucks you get a 50% commission, $200. 
And then there's Booking.com as well. You can get a commission from Booking.com. Booking.com is 25 to 40 percent, a little bit lower. Um, if if you want to get the 25 percent, you need to get zero to 41 sales, I think it is, per month. If you want to get the 40 uh, percent, you need to get over 500 sales per month. So I would recommend TripAdvisor. And all you do, guys, is you sprinkle these links through your blog post. And it, what 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 gets me is a lot of people. I was actually talking to someone the other day. A lot of people already document their stuff via vlog, blog post, via Instagram, via YouTube, have YouTube channels, but they don't actually do any monetization like this. And I was talking to one guy about it and he was like, oh, I didn't even realize this existed. I didn't even know I could get affiliate commissions from these travel places. Uh, Amata.com as well is another one where you can get it, I think about, I think they're about, I don't know what their commission is, it might be a little bit lower, but TripAdvisor is very good guys, 50%. There's some fish jumping just over there. Now, how do you get traffic? That's the. This is what a you know a lot of people kind of are like. Well, I don't I don't know how to get traffic. How do I get traffic? How do I get traffic to make money? Very very simple, guys. So when you start your blog, it's going to be very very slow at the start because Google's not going to know who you are. It's going to need to crawl everything, and you're going to have a little bit of competition. So as time goes on, guys, and you actually start to do more blog posts and you start to build your site out and become an authority site, you will start to get more traffic organically. At the start, it's going to be very, very hard. It's not going to be easy for you, but nothing online is easy. We're not promoting get-rich-quick schemes here. So let's say um, you don't travel a lot. You still have a nine-to-five job, but you want to do this. Well, um, document, go away on the weekends. Document things in your own cities. Document things in your own countries. And then build up this blog of this trip basically this travel blog um, and then write about your experience and you know people want to get people want to start following you up following you after that so make sure you click their emails things like that and anyway Google will start to go out and organically search your site um, with their spiders and then the more content you have the more they're gonna start ranking you for random things random little keywords from your articles and all of that sort of good stuff but one two traffic sources I find that people do all the time and they don't even realize that they're doing it and they could make money is your Instagrams guys so you could, like people are absolutely spamming the Instagram. I was at dinner the other night on New Year's Eve, and everyone's like, oh, "I've got to put this on Instagram. I've got to put this on Snapchat. I've got to get this up." Why not? When you're traveling, have a link in your Instagram or even your um, Snapchat to your blog and tell your friends about it. Hey, check out my experience. We're having a great time. They might book their own trip. Or YouTube guys, start a YouTube travel um, travel vlog and that's what a lot of people do and a lot of people do make money via doing that but they do it with different other ways um, I think a lot of people use patreon and things like that you can literally put affiliate links in the description of your YouTube videos if you like or you can put your blog in the YouTube video description and that does two things for you it acts as a backlink to your website and gives Google signals and it acts as a traffic source to your website when people click on it and that guys is how a lot of people make money while they travel like a huge percentage of people that travel today and basically travel their entire lives and make money, they make it online via building up a community with their blog or their YouTube channel or their Instagram by documenting what they're doing. And they monetize it by either merchandise or anything like that. But if you're new to it, one of the best ways to monetize is via using places like TripAdvisor and just subtly putting your links, your affiliate links inside the blog post, or you can have a pop-up, or you can have a banner, or you can have some sort of advertising um, thing. Actually, check this out. So you see that jet ski? I don't know if you can see that. Um, well, we really washed out there. Um, yeah, see there's a jet ski right, right there. So I went out on that jet ski a couple of days ago. A group of us went out on the jet ski, we went snorkeling. A four hour jet ski experience. Cool. I can go and start a blog post, my jet ski experience in Fiji, blah, 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 jet ski activity review. I could write about my experience. Now, the thing is guys, I didn't like it because when I went out there, um, all the coral reefs were dead from global warming, um, boats, jet skis going over them all the time. Literally the fish looked sad, it was very sad. The coral reefs were all dead. So it doesn't have to be a positive review. I can write about it, write about how I thought the corals were dead, stuff like that. Then I can recommend a different activity under that activity. Maybe a better snorkeling spot, something like that, where, um, you know, maybe, yeah, so maybe a different, a different snorkeling spot where you get a commission if they purchase it, right? So you've got to think of, 
like different angles and stuff like that. So I could go out right now, write a blog post about how I didn't like my experience on the jet. The jet skis were fun, but I didn't like the experience of the snorkeling because literally the corals were dead. They were white, they were bleached, there was no color, the fish were sad, it was disgusting. There was oil in the water, there was plastic in the water, it was really, really bad. So I would write about that, say it was a bad experience on the snorkeling part, and then I would recommend another snorkeling experience where I would have a commission. And I could do a YouTube video about it. I could do an Instagram post about it. I could do a Snapchat story about it, guys. Um, there's literally so many, so many ways you can get traffic to these sites that will make you money. Now, over time, you'll start to get more traffic. You're obviously not going to quit your job today, go and start a blog, and travel the world, and live the good life. That's not how this works. However, I would recommend just starting something up and traveling around. Your, like A lot of you guys that live in America, you're so lucky. You have so many, when I, when I go to America, I love it because I can go to California, it's nice and dry. Um, sorry, LA, nice and dry, nice and, uh, nice and like, you know, quite, quite, quite good weather, no snow. And then literally a few hours away, you have Lake Tahoe where it's beautiful, snowing, lake. And then a few hours again, you've got Las Vegas, which is a completely different city. You can go up to Colorado, you can even go over the border to Canada. Um, you can go over to New York, Massachusetts, Boston, down to Texas. You guys have so much um, variety of places you can go to. So you can literally jump in the car on a Friday night, go travel, document it, go and um, get these affiliate links and put them into your blog posts and things like that. Me, in New Zealand, it's different. We only really have Queenstown. That's the only nicest place. I've got to travel to places to get um, content if I want to do that. All right, guys, so that's the end of this video. I just wanted to let you know a great way that you can go out there and start to make money to fund your travel or partly fund your travel um, to, you know, even an extra 100 bucks per week, guys, is going to pay for a couple of meals on your travel and it's going to lighten the load um, when it comes to money. All right, guys, have a good new year. I have a good new year's if, um, if it's still 2017 for you. I'm not sure when I'm going to post this up. Um, make sure, guys, you, gra uh, you check out my other videos, you subscribe, grab my e-commerce course, guys. It's very, very cheap. The price will be going up soon. You can grab that in the link uh, below this video or on the left or the right of the screen. I'll put that up. And I'll see you guys next video. And just remember, guys, crush your goals in 2018. This is going to be a massive year for making money online. And I'll see you guys in the next video.